hello viewers welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be making pepper goat's meat yes so if this is your first time of stopping by welcome to my channel in this channel i upload mainly nigerian dishes and little continental if you have any video you want me to upload here please let me know in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video give this video a thumbs up i love you guys so in here i have all the stuff i need for the preparation i have these vegetables here to garnish this is fresh tomatoes this is um green pepper this is we call it tatase that's scotch bennet pepper in here i have a, a tarugu fresh pepper so here we have our granola here to fry the meat and to make the pepper sauce so here i have my spices have chicken spice all purpose salt and no cube i have ginger and garlic scent leaf and onion so here this is the obonge stuff here that we're going to be doing this is the goat meat so i already marinated the goat meat like i've seasoned it already i kept it in the freezer to chill for like two hours so in here i marinated it with maggi salt ginger and garlic onions a little bit of um all purple spice and chicken spice so you can also use goat spice if you want but if you don't mind you can just use your maggi and salt and onions so now let's move into the cooking so i'm going to be adding the marinated goats into the pot so i'm not going to add this little water please don't forget oh, at least i forget i added the curry little curry and thyme to spice it up so i'm just going to cover this you can see the points here just added a little water not too much water so that the spices can enter so i'm going to cover this and allow this to cook for like 15 to 20 minutes and i'm going to be stirring it as time goes on for time to time so in a heated pot i'm going to be making our pepper sauce before our goat meat will be ready you heat your oil first you have your onions ginger and garlic there okay. you add your pepper i'm going to fry this i'll just keep stirring and fry it for like uh, let's say 15 to 20 minutes okay so we've been cooking for about 10 to 15 minutes i'm just going to add water to allow it to cook properly Okay, so it's been frying for 10 minutes and you can see the oil is out so almost ready i'm going to be adding the spices chicken spice all for food and a little bit of salt i'm going to be adding this no cube just half of it i didn't add the whole of it when you stir add our green pepper there. the bell pepper and then you stir then you add your scent leaf i know if you're not used to this please give it a try scent leaf is very nice when it comes to garnishing this the aroma and then the aroma that comes out of it and of course the the beauty As you can see the pepper sauce is looking very very uh, beautiful <laughs> it came out very beautiful and of course it tastes nice so don't forget that when i start adding the vegetables to it has been on low heat since so they don't want to increase your fire and then burn your pepper sauce it has been on low heat so i'm going to give it a thirst if it's okay i'll wait till i fry my meat hmm this tastes nice looks nice of course it tastes nice so i'm just going to add up the onion on top and then I'll put off the heat of the fire until the pepper meat is ready. Okay, so our meat is ready. I'm just going to drain this and then set up my oil to fry. I'm just going to heat up the oil and then we'll fry our meat. I'm 
Okay, so got is ready. I fry this for about 15 minutes in frying. Okay, so now I've, I've poured the oil. We am just going to add this back on fire. There is no oil here, and I'm going to add all the pepper. Okay, going to mix it up with the pepper sauce. I'm not going to stir, stir, stir. Okay, our pepper goat's mix is already. It looks nice, and of course, it tastes nice. Okay, looks nice, and of course, this nice. Oh, trust me, the whole kitchen smells nice. So please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your family and friends. I love you guys. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.